What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And we're back with the brackets. We love brackets. Back with the brackets. That was so stressful last time. Oh like, my gosh, please tell yes. me that this one is going to be a little less stressful. This one has a lot less. I'm also less opinionated on movies than yeah. I am on music. <laughs> so this one, as she said, is movies. And it's actually uh, 90s movies. Okay, so. I'm a little opinionated on those. Stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll they're see. all 90s if I remember right. So this is the bracket. So you can see action. <laughs> I can't tell. So comedy. it's action. No, that's, yeah, comedy. It's action, comedy, drama, and horror. Or... Killing. Suspense. There's violence. a knife with pain. There's violence. <laughs> All right, so you ready? So, yeah, so if you guys don't know how this works, it just works just like a regular uh, uh, bracket for like, like March, March Madness. Madness. So are you ready? I'm ready. So it's the first category we're going to do. Why don't we do all the category this time? To go to the finals. Yes, go okay. to the finals before we move on to the next category. Or the semifinals, yeah. Yeah, let's try that. All right, so we're going to start with action. Sound good? Yes. All right. Men in Black versus The Mummy. Never mind. This is stressful. Goodbye. <laughs> like, this is hard. Like, oh. <sighs> Both of them are iconic in their own way. Both of them The are... mummy. You think so? Yes. But Noisy Cricket. Uh, dude, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love that movie. The mummy. It's just better compositionally. It's better. The, the script is better. The cast is better. The story is more dramatic. Will Smith and, and still funny. But you're talking about Will Smith and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. I know, and trust me, it was a tough choice. But my choice mm -hmm. is the Mummy. You can disagree, and then we will decide. The thing is, is that if both of them were on the TV right now, I would probably watch the Mummy. Which is weird because I'd probably watch Men in Black. Because I like <laughs> those type of movies, the yeah. adventure movies. That's what I'm saying. There's more to, to me, the story. It captures you more. Men in Black is more of like. A buddy cop type movie yeah so i would have it to say buddy cop movie. yeah but i would have to say the, the adventure movie okay. of mummy good mummy there we go i can spell it's right <laughs> next to it i'm like huh? 007 golden eye starring pierce brosnan versus braveheart starring mel gibson that's hard because braveheart is a classic obviously but i'm a bond girl so mm -hmm. golden eye for me i'm definitely i grew up in a bond house mm -hmm. so i think goldeneye was probably the second or third that i remember watching but i've watched all the bond movies i when i was younger i didn't really care about spy movies i was like then oh, they're okay and then i watched i watched one of them and i was like this is really good and then i realized that there was a different gold or a different, a different bond James and i was bond. really confused but i liked goldeneye as a movie Okay. That is Brosnan, right? Yeah, that yeah. is Pierce Brosnan. Okay, I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going so to have to say So are we choosing Goldeneye. Goldeneye? Yeah. Okay. Braveheart was good, but... It's a classic. It's definitely... It is what it is. It's, it's just... A, in my opinion, my it's a little slow for me. There's that. It is a little slow paced. Very epic style. The, the fight scenes are great, but... Oh. The Matrix versus Independence Day. I'm done. It's The Matrix versus Independence Day. Independence Day. Mm. Side note, Will Smith was supposed to be in The Matrix, but he turned it down for Wild Wild West. Matrix is good. Still, oh, that's hard. I prefer Independence Day. Welcome to Earth. I prefer Independence Day. See, uh, The Matrix, though, visuals, it was groundbreaking. It, look, you're the movie guy, and I'm torn, so if you pick The Matrix, I'll agree with you. But I want to just state for the record that I prefer Independence Day. Independence Day is a good movie, and it's one of those that I could watch any time, but The Matrix makes you think. The Matrix had groundbreaking visual effects. I, In my opinion, Matrix was a better movie. Okay. Then put Matrix. And I said I would agree. I just disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there'll be one that I'm going to be torn on. Yeah. When we get to the comedy or drama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mission Impossible versus Jurassic Park. I abstain because you're not going to like my opinion. You like Mission Impossible. I do. But Jurassic Park for you. I know Jurassic Park for you. Jurassic Park is one of the movies that made me want to be a filmmaker. Yeah. You got to pick that. I'm sorry. But right. it's just not my movie. It's it's violent. Okay. Like Mission Impossible is a little violent, but mm -hmm. it's it's fun. I'm going to have to say Jurassic Park if that's okay. Yeah. Okay. I already this next told one. you. Movies, you kind of, you gave me a lot of opinions mm -hmm. on music. 
You let right. me have a lot of opinions is what I mean. I do apologize for this next one. Oh, wait, we're going through this one. Never mind. Yeah, I sorry. So we got uh, Mummy versus uh, Goldeneye. Mummy. Oh, yeah, Mummy. Like I said, I like Goldeneye, but Mummy is just on its own level. Yeah. Uh, Matrix versus Jurassic Park. Matrix. Yeah. Remember, if you guys uh, disagree with us, leave Let a comment below. Let us know below. in the comments. All right, so the final is going to be the Matrix versus the Mummy. Matrix. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't pick Matrix to begin with, but putting it against the Mummy, there's no comparison. Mm -hmm. Putting it against Independence Day, though, that was hard. Yeah, because they're both really good movies. They're fantastic movies. The writing of Independence Day is just stellar. The cast is amazing. Mm -hmm. The emotions that it pulls. Matrix doesn't pull emotions. It just... It's thought-provoking. Yes. And so it's that was really not a fair, mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So this next one uh, is going to be the drama, and I do apologize for the first bracket. Okay. Goodwill Hunting versus Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Yeah? I want to say Goodwill Hunting, but I can't, because Forrest Gump as a movie is just one of the most perfect movies ever made. It is just a stellar movie. I agree with you. Yeah. Goodwill Hunting is good. Don't get me wrong. It's just that can't stand up to it. It just can't. Ben Affleck, don't beat me up, but I agree. It can't. Of course, it was mostly Matt Damon, them, by the way. Uh, yeah, but out of all of them, I should be more worried about Matt Damon. But. Yeah. <laughs> um, Titanic versus A Few Good Men. That is difficult. Um, they're they're really incomparable. I can't choose. You have to decide. Hmm. I've never seen A Few Good Men. I just know that it is a classic for a reason. Mm -hmm. I know the premise behind the movie. I know the certain lines that were said. Jack Nicholson is ridiculously mm -hmm. talented. Um, but Titanic was a beautiful movie and well told. And the guy fell off the back and hit the propeller and spun <laughs> through the water and it made me laugh. Dunk. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I'm heartless. <laughs> This is hard because A Few Good Men is such a, a movie that's just got such a phenomenal acting. And I feel like Titanic was just designed to be just a good movie because of the fact that James Cameron was behind it. You know, it's it was hard because... I will I will defer to your choice because it's it's difficult. It's really hard. And I've never seen A Few Good Men, so I don't know. Don't get me wrong. If both of them were on the movie or on the TV right now, I'd probably do something else just because I don't have the patience to watch either one of them. Oh, that sucks. I was going to ask if we could watch A Few Good Men if I'm allowed to watch it. I haven't seen it in a while. I'd have to really watch it again. Um, but I'd rather watch Good Will Hunting. For anyone that's not sure why I wouldn't be allowed to watch it, I don't like violence. I can't mm -hmm. really handle violence. And so what I mean by I'm allowed to watch it is he knows whether or not it's violent and says, yes, you can watch that, you'll be okay. Or you should not watch that, it's very violent. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mean. Yeah. I didn't want anybody this to is... think that you control what movies I watch. She's only allowed to watch, watch G-rated movies. No, um, this is really hard. Uh... You know what wins this one over for me? What? The visuals. Titanic. Mm hmm Okay. I had to break it down to yeah, each part. Yeah, you have to pick when it's that hard. You have to decide. Like when in the last one, when I had to decide between like Blink-182 and the Foo Fighters, that mm -hmm. was really hard. But obviously I had to boil it down to the members of the band. Because, yeah, both of these had great actors and great scenes and very iconic scenes. But Titanic had a better soundtrack. I don't it remember did. any songs from yeah. A Few Good Men and also visual effects. and just visual, the visual effects were nuts for yeah. 1996, I think. I think it was 96 or 97. The Shawshank Redemption versus Dances with Wolves. Shawshank Redemption. Mm -hmm. Dances with Wolves is good. Shawshank Redemption is better. Mm -hmm. That's going to be my whole shtick for all of these. A League of Their Own versus Apollo 13. They were like, here, have some... Uh, Tom Hanks, because he's in Apollo 13, I believe. That is yeah. so rude. A League of Their Own. Mm -hmm. that, that By this much, because Apollo 13 is an absolutely beautiful movie. Yeah. But A League of Their Own. I was just quoting that in class Thursday. There's no crying in yeah, baseball. Yeah, no, that's what I said. I said, there is no stressing out in tap dance, and there's no crying in baseball. And everyone's like, what? These are college kids. Mm -hmm. And I was being observed by one of the other teachers. And I was like, yeah, there's no crying in baseball. There's no stressing out in tap class. They're like, why baseball? And I was like, 
it's a quote from a movie that is, I guess, older than dirt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the, the teacher observing me was like, you guys don't know that movie? And I'm like, you, we just died. Mm-hmm. Like, we literally just unalived. <laughs> Theater kids, y'all need to look up stuff. A League of Their Own is one mm-hmm. of the best movies of all time, and I will die on that hill. All right, all right, so next round of this one, we have Forrest Gump versus Titanic. Forrest Gump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Tom Hanks versus Tom Hanks. All right, now we have the Shawshank Redemption versus The League of Their That's Own. That's difficult. That is very difficult, but I have to go with The League of Their Own. That movie makes me cry every single time. It is still quoted to this day. It is not as important. Mm-hmm. I will give you that. It's not as socially important as The Shawshank Redemption, mm-hmm. but I prefer it as a movie. Mm-hmm. But what do you think? It's hard because Shawshank Redemption is a great story with phenomenal actors, of course. It makes you cry. A lot. But, oh yeah, but like a league of their own, you feel for these people. Like they're literally just trying to entertain them while everybody's out fighting. And it also gets the whole run of emotions. And you get the good and the bad. You get the happy, the sad, the laughter, the mm-hmm. tears. A lot of laughter, a lot of tears. When, and when I don't remember the actress, but when she gets the letter oh, about I don't remember. her about oh, her husband that, dying. Don't make me I'm literally yeah. gonna cry. Yeah, like when she gets that letter, it's like bruh or like that notification of it. Yeah. It's the the fight between uh, Gina Davis and her sister in it. I don't remember her sister the Hey actress. girl. Yeah. It was that her? <laughs> oh yeah. And was it? I literally started to cry. Was why it why her? did you do that to me? I'm pretty sure. Wasn't it Tank so. Girl? No, that's not her. Um, we could look it up, but give me your phone. It's right there. What do you mean? Um, oh, I was no, wrong. It's not. It's right here. But yeah, the um, the just the, the powerful girl, messages. Like Thanks. I'm sorry, I didn't lie. <laughs> but like the <laughs> him going off on the umpire to the emotions of. <sighs> yes, it's Lori Petty. Is it? It oh is. Oh my god, Tank it was. Girl. She's just really young in it. Huh. Yeah, I knew it. I love that movie. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but the fighting between them two, and it's like you really felt that sibling rivalry. Yeah, I literally teared up because of that one scene. How dare you? I have to say A League of Their Own. Thank you. <laughs> okay, now we have Forrest Gump versus A League of Their Own. There's no crying in baseball versus I went running. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to decide. really hard because they're both just phenomenal movies Mm -hmm. if they both were on tv right now i would watch a league of their own before i'd watch forrest gump as much as i really like that movie but but forrest gump is more important lieutenant dan ice cream it's uh, more important mm -hmm. i don't know i i would also watch a league of their own over forrest gump forrest gump has better soundtrack Mm -hmm. much better soundtrack it's quoted more the but, only thing quoted from A League of Their Own is there's no crying in baseball and, like, one other thing. But Madonna's song is in A League of Their Own. Yeah, I know, but nobody knows that song except for us. Mm. Like, who knows the Madonna song, This Used to Be My Playgrounds? Like, mm-hmm. who knows that? People that are fans of this movie. Hit that thumbs up if you do. <laughs> this one's really hard. Um, this is, like, stress-inducing. Like, I'm trying to go through, like, Forrest Gump had visuals, had, they they did a lot of things with, like, the green, like, when he shook their hand with the president, they did a lot of special effects with that, but I'm sure there was some in League, but the story with League is, like, I don't know. I'll let you decide. I can't consider that it's going to go against the Matrix, can I? No. You're going for drama. Drama from the 90s. I have to pick Forrest Gump. Yeah? Yes. Now, if Forrest Gump for somehow gets disqualified, League is in there. <laughs> but, yeah, I have to. I have to pick Forrest Gump because it's quoted more. The soundtrack is better. The story is deeper. Mm-hmm. League of Their Own is good. The fact that it was a tough choice, you yeah. know? Yeah. All right, so we're going to do the finals for them? Yeah, All no. Right. We're going to go on to the next yeah. one? All right. So now we go with the happy. Comedies. The, the comedies. First one, I know which one you're picking. Uh huh. Toy Story versus Space Jam. Space Jam, <laughs> please. Why, Why Jen? Quickly. <laughs> I really despise Toy Story, a lot. 
oh no 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 there's no thinking <laughs> it's just space jam <laughs> and because it's against space jam you can't tell me that you're not doing this for effect because space jam is one of your favorite movies but Toy Story is one of my I favorite I don't movies. care. <laughs> it's the first fully CG movie, and it's just beautiful. <laughs> Look, Bud's an alien. Where? Ah. Listen, if you really need to pick it, you're going to have to convince me. Space Jam. This is hard, because I also really love live-action animation movies. All right, let's talk about them music-wise. Space, Space Jam. I hate the song from Toy Story. Space Jam had I Believe I Can Fly. They had Come On and Jam and Welcome. Wait, Come On and Slam. Welcome to the Jam. Yeah, something like yeah. that. Because of the fact that it brought characters that I absolutely loved together. And it was a live-action an animation movie, which is something I would love to do. I probably would watch Space Jam if it was on TV right now, but over Toy Story. Yay! I hate Toy Story. <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys like it. I'm allowed to dislike it with a passion. I really don't like Toy Story. It took him everything he had to get me to go on the Toy Story ride at Disney. Like, but I just refused to go. It ended up she, being the funnest ride She learned of she the gets day. to shoot stuff and get a point. Yeah, it ended up being the funnest ride of the day, but still, it took a lot mm -hmm. for me to go see that. Office Space versus Austin Powers. Office Space. Yeah. <laughs> I Don't much prefer that movie. I like Mike Myers, but... I love Austin Powers. Yeah. Like, all the quotes and stuff, but, like, but, it's, if it was yeah. the spy who shagged me, mm -hmm. we would have a bigger problem. That's, that, that's my stapler. Yeah, we would have a bigger problem if it was the spy who shagged me because mm -hmm. the second one is better than the first. Because okay. of Mini Me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the moment I heard Prowl say I had a clone. Uh, the Big Lebowski versus Dumb and Dumber. I oh, hate hands the down. Big Lebowski. So I know it's that there's some people that are like Big Lebowski. To the, the Dumb and Dumber is one of the most iconic movies. So is the Big Lebowski. I just hate it. But Dumb and I Dumber. don't like that movie at all. I'm sorry. I know a lot of people do, and it's okay. You can like that movie. I'm not saying that it's a bad movie. I'm saying I don't like it. I'm telling you, I like stupid <laughs> humor, and Dumb and Dumber wins. I don't like Dumb and Dumber either, but I like it better than I like The Big Lebowski. <laughs> All right, so we got Dumb and Dumber. Home Alone versus Fargo. Home Alone. Although, every time I think of Home Alone, I think of Dogma, when Selma Hayek, the muse, is like, I'm responsible for 19 out of the top 20 grossing movies of all time. 19? Yeah, the one with the kid who's at home, and ah, I had nothing to do with that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love her delivery. Yeah. All right, so now we have Space Jam versus Office Space. <sighs> I would say Office Space. But I'm not the movie guy. I would office space has no visuals like other than it being an office. No, but so. it's relatable. Mm, it is extremely relatable. relatable. Have you ever wanted to take a bat to a printer? Mm -hmm. Today? Have you ever wanted to embezzle from your company? No. <laughs> I was actually thinking that took me back to my mom catching the embezzler. Yeah. <laughs> Flare. You're going with office space? You have your 18 pieces of flare, right? Wasn't it <laughs> yeah, it's so relatable. Mm -hmm. You're going with office space? Yeah, that's my... Yeah, it's so relatable. <laughs> it's hard. That was hard because I love live action animation. I had a but problem I... with this one. Mm -hmm. Force Gump versus League, okay? Like, things are hard. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb and Dumber versus Home Alone. Home Alone. I'm going to have to give you Home Alone, too. Not two. Not yeah, two. Home Alone also. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have Office Space versus Home Alone. I have my choice. Okay, what is it? Office Space. That was my choice too. Okay, good. I was like, uh-oh, he's going to pick Home Alone because no. it's a classic. and No, Office, office space, space. Because literally, he could have just called, or they, she could have just called him. Yeah. 
and just been like, hey, I'm on my way. And he'd have been like, cool. Yeah. Or she could have called the local <laughs> police department and be like, hey, I forgot. And okay, violent movies. Yay. Which I've seen a lot of these weirdly. Silence of the Lambs versus Fight Club. Fight Club. <laughs> Silence yeah. of the Lambs is good. Fight Club is better. <laughs> if you haven't seen Fight Club, I highly recommend it and pay attention to everything. Every single thing. Thing. In the background, everything that people say, everything. Everything. I watched this movie about a year ago, and I still found things that I didn't recognize before. So, Tyler Durden. <laughs> Saving Private Ryan versus Reservoir Dogs. I've never seen Reservoir Dogs or Saving Private Ryan, so I cannot speak to this. Reservoir Dogs, definitely a classic, has a lot of classic lines and a lot of like iconic imagery as far as that, but... Saving Private Ryan is probably visually one of the most beautiful, in a way, movies that you'll ever see as far as a story being told. It's got, uh, from what I understand, the most some, some of the most uh, accurate depiction of war mm -hmm. that you'll ever see in a movie. That's what I've heard. Um, also, you got young Vin Diesel in it. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's, he's running around. <laughs> I but can't yeah. watch it, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Just no, making sure. No, no. I'd rather you watch Silence of the Lambs. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, in my opinion, Saving Private Ryan. Okay. The Fugitive versus The Sixth Sense. Fugitive for me. It's with Tommy Lee Jones, right? Yeah. Yeah, Fugitive for me. But, okay. again, I I can't really weigh in on the violent ones and the scary ones. The thing about that is... Yeah, six Sense is like iconic. They're like, ooh, da 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 da, big super, big spoiler alert. When I was watching it, I was so angry watching it from someone who knows actors and acting point of view. I was so mad throughout the whole film. Spoiler, by the way, that no one looked at Bruce Willis when they spoke about him or with him, like in a like when they were dialoguing. Nobody looked at him, and I was so irritated the whole movie, and I couldn't understand why people weren't looking at him as an actor. You don't. Give away why, That's just in case. But, yeah. <laughs> Movie was out in the 90s, you better know. <laughs> but, yeah, so I, I was so frustrated. And then it, then when it came out, I was like, that makes sense. And it wasn't a big, like, oh, my God. Yeah. But me, um, The Fugitive is a better movie. Really? Mm -hmm. I really thought you were going to say The Sixth Sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Seven versus Unforgiven. Seven. Mm-hmm. I know about the movie. I've never seen it, but I know the story of both. And mm. Seven is a better story. You, I would rather you watch Saving Private Ryan. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just for the visuals. But <laughs> All right. We have uh, Fight Club versus Saving Private Ryan. Fight Club. That's my vote. But I don't really get a vote, so you choose. Again, Saving Private Ryan is your standard war movie guy goes has to try to get the guy out because his brothers are or his other his brothers had passed in the war so they were letting him out just so that way his family didn't lose all their sons and so it's a heartbreaking thing and tom hanks dealing with uh, his stuff you know um and dealing with war and stuff so it was it was a very powerful movie but fight club was just a visual mind it was it, it messes with your brain and i'm gonna have to go fight club okay just for visual ver and that's that one is probably one of the hardest ones that i've had to decide okay fugitive versus seven i don't get to seven. have a say okay <laughs> seven is a very so now it's fight club versus seven so, so it's, it's brad, brad pitt. pitt versus brad pitt so mm -hmm. we keep doing this mm -hmm. <laughs> my opinion is fight club Okay. They're both about the same level as far as that, but I like the Fight Club story. Again, Seven is more like, oh, there's a crazy person. Ah, they have a purpose. Yeah. Ah, what's in the box? I'm apparently not supposed to know what's in the box. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right. So we have the Matrix for the semifinals. We have the Matrix, Matrix versus Forrest Gump, and we have office space versus fight club one of these decisions is easy and the other one is not mm -hmm. so fight club wins over office space for me oh yeah so fight club has made it into the finals now we have the matrix 
Wait, yeah. I would say The Matrix wins over Forrest Gump. For all the reasons you said and more. Mm -hmm. The Matrix wins over Forrest Gump. So now we have a true problem. And it is Keanu Reeves versus Brad Pitt. Mm -hmm. (laughs) No, it's The Matrix versus Fight Club. As the best movie of the 90s. Which the actual answer is uh, 10 Things I Hate About You. Mm. Is the best movie of the 90s. But since that's not on here. So um, it's funny is they both have like a bluish green hue in them. They do. No, it's more like just green. For the Fight Club, it is. Yeah, it's more of like a green filter mm-hmm. on all of it for Matrix too. Hmm. It's a very like swampy green filter. This is hard. I know. This is how both I felt are, during the music one. Both are groundbreaking <laughs> stories. Both. Both make you think. Oh my God! There's still stuff in Matrix also that. I'm finding out. My choice between the two is The Matrix Mm -hmm. because it has had many different sequels Mm -hmm. and there's more fan fiction written about that than there is Fight Club Mm -hmm. and because the story is very relatable no matter Mm -hmm. what. it That movie turns you into into a conspiracy theorist. Mm -hmm. Like even if you're not a conspiracy theorist, suddenly you're like, what if I'm in The Matrix? And then the whole like, you have to accept cookies. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, like, uh, one thing that I found out about a year ago was the Oracle, when she meets Neo, she goes to hand him cookies. And he's like, no, thank you. And she refuses to talk to him until he takes a cookie. Because he has to accept cookies. To go to that website. The, Matrix. Yeah, the, the writers were incredible. So, yeah, I'm going to say the, the Matrix. The Matrix is the best movie of the 90s, except it's 10 Things I Hate About You. Um, Matrix. So Matrix wins it for us. Let us know what you think. Do you think that Matrix was the best movie out of that list? That was a tough list. Mm -hmm. There were some in there that were extremely tough. If League of Their Own won, would it have beat The Matrix? For me, yes. League of Their Own would have beat The Matrix? Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. Matrix would have beat League of Their Own. Okay, I was like... I heard that wrong. What? Okay, what if A League of Their Own got here? Would it have beat Fight Club? No. It would for me. Not for me. It would for me. So, we know that Matrix won <laughs> according to us. Do you believe that Matrix beat out Fight Club? Leave a comment below. Now, Look as a second this subject. as a second answer though, I want to know what you guys think. You said a League of Their Own versus Fight Club? Yeah. Who do you think would have win between a League of Their Own and Fight Club? Let us know what your opinion is. Leave a comment. Uh, we hope you guys really enjoyed this bracket. Mm-hmm. I'm having a lot of fun doing these. Mm-hmm. If you have a specific topic you want us to do a bracket for, just let us know in the comments. Mm-hmm. We're going to do more of these just because they're fun, and mm-hmm. that's what this channel is for. So thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, if, um, you're, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, we post all kinds of fun vlogs, life updates, stories, all kinds of stuff, challenges. Wow. One of us is professional. <laughs> um, but no, So and also if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you think that Matrix should have won, hit that thumbs up. If you think Fight Club should have won, hit that thumbs up. If you think Toy Story should have won, hit that thumbs up. No, don't tell them to put the thumbs down. Thumbs up for views. Wow. (laughs) But no, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And we're out of here. Bye.